What if I told you that some osteoporosis medications don't just slow bone loss, but they actually help to rebuild strong, healthy bones? It sounds amazing, right? But before you get too excited, there are some crucial things that you need to know because these medications come with both powerful benefits and some serious risks. In my last video, we talked all about osteoporosis medications that slow down bone loss, like bisphosphonates and prolia. We covered how they work, their benefits, and the potential risks, especially when taken long-term. If you missed that video, I will link it in the description so that you can check it out. Today, we're breaking it all down so that you can make the best decision for your bone health. I'll walk you through bone building medications like Timlos, Forteo, and Avenity, how they work, their benefits, and the important risks to consider. These medications can be game changers for some people, but they also come with unique side effects and limitations. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of whether bone building medications might be a good option for you. So let's get into it. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of fractures that happen each year. And I am so pleased to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. All right, so now that you know a little bit about me and why I'm so passionate about bone health, let's get into the heart of today's topic, medications that actually build new bone. Know that everything that I present today is done from a health coaching perspective. This is not medical advice. My hope is that with the information from this video, you'll be empowered to have a really good discussion with your doctor to figure out what the best option for you is. So if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, you've probably heard a lot about medications that slow down bone loss. What if your bones need more than that? What if you need to actually build new, strong, high quality bone to reduce your fracture risk? That's where Timlos, Forteo, and Evanity come in. These medications work differently than the ones that we talked about in my last video, and they can be really effective for some people, but like everything, there are pros and there's cons. So let's start by breaking down how these medications work and what makes them different from the ones that just slow bone loss. So which type of medication do you think is more important, slowing bone loss or building new bone? Let's discuss together in the comments. So back to bone building medications, these medications have a lot going for them, potentially because the bone that's created from them is new, it's strong, and it's high quality. Both Timlos and Forteo are synthetic parathyroid hormones that stimulate new bone growth. They work similarly, but with some differences. Timlos is more effective at targeting bone growth in the spine, while Forteo helps to improve bone growth in both the hip and the spine, but with the overall bone growth, it doesn't have as strong an impact in the spine as Timlos does. Forteo has been FDA approved for both men and women, while Timlos has only been approved for postmenopausal women. These medications can only be taken for up to two years and then they have to be stopped. This is because of concern about these medications potentially contributing to the development of bone cancer. I want to be really clear that no human being has taken these medications for long enough to develop cancer. There are scientific studies that show that rats develop bone cancer while taking these medications for an extended period of time. So it's important to recognize that there is a limit to how long these medications can be taken for. Initially, when these medications were first used, there was a warning on the box, but since people have taken them and generally tolerated them well for bone health, the label was removed a few years ago. I personally like having an understanding of the history and like sticking to a time limit for taking medication like this for safety's sake. 
Common side effects on the milder side for Timulus and Forteo include having soreness at the injection site. And these are medications that need to be injected daily. Also, there's the potential for stomach upset, for muscle and joint cramping or pain, feeling weak and having low energy. The more serious side effects for both of these medications include having higher blood calcium levels that can include having symptoms where you feel confused, having constipation, having to urinate frequently, feeling excessively thirsty, and having muscle weakness. Another more serious side effect is sudden changes in blood pressure that can cause dizziness, fainting, and feeling weak when you stand up from a seated position. This may make laying down after having an injection a good idea, at least for a little while. Can also be helpful to inject at the same time every day and potentially to choose different sites for injection to keep your body from being quite as sore. All right, so we've covered Timulus and Forteo, which are great for building new bone, but what if you need something that does both? Something that builds bone and prevents breakdown. That's where Avenity comes in, but it comes with some unique risks that you'll definitely wanna know about. So let's talk about it. Avenity is the only medication on the market for bone health that stimulates new bone growth while also slowing down the breakdown of existing bone. It's a unique medication and it has a unique profile of side effects. The most serious and important side effect from taking Avenity is having an increased risk for heart attacks and strokes. If you have a pre-existing heart condition, this is not a good medication for you. And it's essential that you talk to your doctor about your heart health before choosing to take Avenity. I spoke with a woman recently who has severe osteoporosis and her doctor wanted her to take Avenity to improve her bone health. She also has heart disease and some arterial calcification, which her endocrinologist was not aware of. Thankfully, she knew that Avenity was problematic with heart disease, and she shared that information with her endocrinologist, who then adjusted what was being recommended for her. I think this is something that's really important for each of us to be aware of. When we visit a specialist, they may not be aware of all of our other health issues, and that could affect the treatment for what we're seeing them for. Doctors can't treat what they don't know, and it's our job to communicate important information about our health to help them so that they can provide us with the best care that they can. So coming back to Avenity, Avenity actually comes with a black box warning. If you haven't been initiated into the world of medications that come with a black box warning, the black box warning means that the medication could cause immediate death upon taking it. There are a number of medications out there that come with a label like this one. My mom was actually given one a few years ago for her heart health. And after she picked it up at the pharmacy, she sat in her car in the parking lot outside the pharmacy staring at the medication and wondering if she should actually take it. She ended up taking it and has been fine, but it was initially scary and she felt unsure about what to do. Doctors have to weigh the potential benefits with the potential side effects every time that they prescribe medication. And since a side effect like the one on the black box warning is rare, it's usually worth the risk for the patient for whom that they're recommending because they probably also have a really high risk for fracture and fractures can also be life-threatening. There's no simple answer to questions like this. So when you're deciding whether or not to take a medication like this, you have to ask yourself the same questions. Are you more comfortable with fracture risk or with the risk for increasing having a heart attack or stroke? knowing that you can monitor this risk along the way with your doctor. There's not one right answer here. People feel differently about these risks. And I think it's important to listen to the voice that's in your head or your gut that's telling you what you're comfortable with. You ultimately get to decide whether medication is right or not right for your bone health. Don't pay too much attention to anything that anyone tries to sway you towards with one direction or another. Research the medications that are being suggested for you and evaluate the risks for yourself and decide what you're comfortable with. Would you feel comfortable taking a medication with a black box warning? Or does that make you nervous? 
I would love to hear your thoughts. Drop me a comment sharing what you think about that. Other side effects that can accompany a vanity also include necrosis of the jaw, spontaneous fractures, and having low levels of calcium in the blood. So now that we've covered the pros and cons of these medications, let's quickly recap so that you can decide which, if any, might be right for you. Today we explored osteoporosis medications that don't just slow bone loss, but actually help to build new, strong, high quality bone. We covered Timlos, Forteo, and Avenity, how they work, their benefits, and the important risks to consider. Timlos and Forteo as synthetic parathyroid hormones stimulate new bone growth, but come with a two-year usage limit due to concerns from animal studies. Avenity is unique in that it both builds new bone and slows bone breakdown, but it comes with a black box warning due to increased risk of heart attacks and strokes. So ultimately, whether or not these medications are right for you depends on your personal risk factors, your health histories, and your comfort level with potential side effects versus the risk for having fractures. The key takeaway here is that knowledge is power. Understanding your options allows you to have more productive conversations with your doctor and to make the best decision for your health. So I wanna hear from you. Which part of today's video stood out to you the most? Are you considering a bone building medication or do you have concerns? Drop me a comment, I read every single one. And before you go, if you haven't seen my last video on medications that slow bone loss, click here to watch that next. It's an important piece of the puzzle. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps more people to find this important information. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss future videos on osteoporosis, bone health, and staying strong. Thank you for joining me today in the journey to better bone health. I look forward to talking with you soon.